The UConn women's basketball team headed up to Albany this weekend, where they found themselves in familiar territory, back in the Sweet 16 for the 26th straight year. This time out, they would face a tough UCLA team that was hungry for a trip back to the Elite Eight for the second year in a row. UCLA scored the game's first five points, but it wasn't long before UConn took over. Nafisa Collier was dominant early, as she scored 10 of the team's first 13 points. Kristen Williams also got going early with a couple of big three-pointers. Both players would score 12 points before the Huskies went on a massive scoring drought to end the first half. However, due to UCLA's abysmal 26% shooting, UConn still led 31-26 at halftime. In the second half, UCLA started shooting the ball much better. They hit four consecutive threes at one point to tie the game at 39 and would take the lead on the next possession. The Huskies never let the deficit get larger than five points, though, as they would continue to hit shots and enter the fourth quarter down by just one. In that fourth quarter, the Huskies played with a different fire thanks to the incredible play from Crystal Dangerfield. She hit multiple huge shots as part of a 16-4 run that put UConn back in the driver's seat. You know, it's not always going to go in your favor, but I think tonight we, we did what was necessary, getting a big rebound like V said about Meg. She came in and she did her job tonight, and I think that was the game changer. She finished with 15 points, 11 of them coming in the fourth quarter. To cap off that run, Katie Lou Samuelson had a big steal and score for her only field goal of the game. UConn never looked back after that and finished with a 69-61 to victory. The win means the Huskies will face the winner of the Louisville-Oregon State game in the Elite Eight here on Sunday. From the Times Union Center in Albany, New York, I'm Danny Barletta, UCTV Sports.